Hello everyone, we are talking about the development of the urinary system and now we'll take up the ureter. In this section, we'll be seeing the development of the ureter as to how the ureter develops and what are the various clinical correlates <coughs> that may occur due to development of the ureter gone wrong. So let's see how the ureter develops. So the ureter develops from the ureteric bud. This is the ureteric bud. The ureteric bud arises as a diverticulum from the mesonephric duct. This is the mesonephric duct. The mesonephric duct is also known as the Wolfian duct. Um, this uh, ureteric bud is formed just be, um, just before uh, this mesonephric or the Wolfian duct. It opens into the cloaca. So this ureteric bud is responsible for the formation of ureter. The, um, this ureter, we have talked about the formation of ureter. The collecting system of the kidney was actually the formation of ureter. We have talked about it before. This ureteric bud is then uh, the tip of this ureteric bud is covered by the metanephric blastema. This ureteric bud then forms a funnel-shaped structure, which is known as the uh, renal pelvis. From the renal pelvis it divides to form major calices first. These major calices undergo further division to form minor calices. The minor calices form the collecting uh, ducts. The collecting ducts undergo divisions to form the collecting tubules. So this is how the ureters actually develop. In this figure uh, we can see the ureteric bud uh, originating from the Wolfian duct ju just before its entry into the just before its anastomosis with the cloaca. So, what are the co congenital anomalies of the ureter? We can have a double <laughs> renal pelvis, that is, the upper portion of the ureter might be bifid. We can have a bifid ureter, that is, two complete ureters draining the kidney. We can have double ureter. So we'll see what that is. We can have an ectopic ureter which is not opening in its right place and we can have a post caval ureter. Let's see what all these conditions are. So first of all, a double renal pelvis. As you can see in the figure, the upper funnel shaped portion of the ureter is known as the renal pelvis. However, in the figure you can see there's this upper pelvis and a lower pelvis. So two pelvises are there, an upper renal pelvis and a lower renal <coughs> pelvis. So the upper end of the ureter has two renal pelvises, the upper and the lower. The upper renal pelvis is responsible for draining of, uh, of the upper group of calices. The lower uh, renal uh, pelvis is responsible for draining the middle and the lower group of calices. It occurs due to the premature division of the ureteric but near its termination. So uh, there's a premature um, division of the ureteric bud which occurs just before its termination. So a bifid ureter. So the upper end of the ureter is bifid. Here you can see the upper end of the ureter is bifid. However, in the lower thirds of lower two thirds of the uh, this bifid ureter, they join and open by a common orifice into the urinary bladder. So it occurs due to the premature division of the ureteric bud again. So in double ureters, the <coughs> duplication of the abdominal part of the ureter and the renal pelvis takes place. So we can see the abdominal part of the ureter and the um, renal pelvis, they are completely duplicated. It occurs due to division of the ureteric bud as it arises from the mesonephric duct. So as soon as the ureteric bud arises, it, it may undergo duplication as a result of which double ureters may be formed. One ureter crosses its fellow and may cause ureteric obstruction. So here as can be seen in the figure, one ureter is covering the other ureter as a result of which they can cause obstructive symptoms. So we can also have an ectopic ureter. Um, this in the figure. Here we can see this is a ureter which is opening ectopically, not in its right position. So ureter does not open into the bladder, rather in males they open into the neck of the bladder or in the prostatic part of the urethra here. Or in females um, it may open into the bl bladder, uh, neck, or the urethra or vagina. 
it occurs when the ureter is not completely absorbed within the trigone of the urinary bladder which would be taken up during the development of the bladder and finally we can have <coughs> the post caval ureter it occurs when the right ureter this is the right ureter it ascends posterior to the inferior vena cava so the ureter lies posterior <laughs> to the inferior vena cava this condition is known as the post caval ureter so this was all about this section in this section we talked about the development of uh, ureter from a ureteric bud which arises from the wolfian duct just before it's uh, um, just before uh, it uh, open into the cloaca uh, we saw how the ureteric bud was covered by a metanephric blastema this ureteric bud then elongated and formed a funnel shaped structure which was known as the renal pelvis the renal pelvis divided to form the major calices which further divided to form the minor calices from minor calices we saw the development of collecting ducts and collecting tubules we saw how what happens if there is developmental anomaly in any of these steps as a result of which there can be either <laughs> doubling of the ureter the entire ureter the uh, a segment of the ureter or we can also have an ectopic ureter or a post cavil ureter i hope you understood this section for further sections keep watching scardia.com